Okay, hi everyone, it's Ion Blade. It's been a while. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about what are the core song twists that you'll likely be playing as a bard. So, let's get into it, shall we? So, there's three main ones that come to mind for me. That being your resist song twist, your melee predominant song twist, and then your caster predominant song twist. So, let's get into each one. So let's talk about the resist song twist, shall we? So, the resist song twist, you're mainly going to just use this in raids, to be honest. Grouping-wise, not so much. Maybe if you're pulling, if you want to resist roots or snares or any of that stuff. But um, beyond that, I don't see a whole lot of other uses for it. So, you're going to want to have a percussion instrument for this. And your resist twist is going to be this. So you want to use Guardian Rhythms first because it stacks with virtually everything. And this boosts magic resist. So let me go to it. Uh, Guardian. Yeah, it boosts magic resist. And it pretty much stacks with all. So you can play that. See, my magic is 49, and it goes up to 120, so that's a pretty big boost. And then it stacks with two, I think it's, let me see if it stacks with this. Does it stack with Mystic Shielding? Yes, it does. Okay. So... Guardian Rhythm stacks with Mist Psalm of Mystic Shielding. This is a this boosts MR, Magic Resist, and it's a HP regen. It stacks with Elemental Rhythms, which is Elemental Resist. It's your Fire and Cold, and it also stacks with Purifying Rhythms, which is Poison and Disease. So those are the main twists you're gonna be using. So depending on what raid mob you're going up against. Like, say, here in Plain of Sky, we have mobs that do the bees that do disease or whatever. So you're going to want to twist Guardian Rhythms. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Guardian Rhythms, Boost Magic Resist, and then you're going to want to play Purifying Rhythms, and you'll see those go up. Bam. So, that's what you'll be playing for that. Ideally, that's what you'll be playing for that. And then, what I noticed is on some of these raid mobs that have Mitigation of the Mighty, yeah, that's what this is. It seems... It seems like what it does is it lowers the duration of some of the songs, so you can only really get three songs in as opposed to the normal as opposed to the normal um, four. So often what I'll do is I'll have a targeted song. I will say if I'm doing Inaruk or Kazakh Thul, I'll do Levitate because of their gravity flux. Oh where is that? Levitate. I'll do yeah, this one. Or if I'm, say, fighting Finical Atotropos, I will do my Enduring Breath song as a third song. But just in general, if not, I'll throw a haste on, like, Versus a Victory um, as the third slot when I'm fighting those raid mobs, just to assist out. Um, what, what I've found is Mana Regen doesn't seem to be able to keep pace, so boosting melee GPS is more beneficial. And now let's get into melee twist, shall we? Let's get into what songs do you want to use if you have a melee predominant group. So what that'll be, let me show it. So ideally, it's going to be like this. You're going to have, I don't have the song yet, but at level 57, you get this song. Make Vaxius is rounding Rondo, but the next closest one is this. Then you're going to want to have a second damage shield, so typically some of cooling. And you're going to want to have him of restoration or cantana and then nibs. So let me show how this one works. 
So you first want to going to play your brass instrument. Then you're going to do song, your song, which is uh, singing. Then you're going to want to switch to string for your hammer cantana, and same for nibs. That's the twist. So what is this twist? So this twist, the first song, McVaxius is rousing Rondo. It's a, a haste, not a significant haste. Often people in your group are already at haste max, so it's kind of a waste to do this one. It's called Vilia's Chorus of Solarity, Vilia's Chorus of Solarity which is a 45% haste. Often that extra haste just gets wasted and can't be used. And with the epic being a 55%, it's just overboard. So I often use just this one because it offers... Uh, Vilia's only just has the haste, offers no uh, offensive boost like Verses of uh, Victory or or McVax's Rousing Rondo. So often I use this. It's not as much haste you notice, but look at this. Increases damage shield by 8. Now what I noticed with this song is the damage shield can be modified with the brass instrument. So when I was using this instrument, which uh, is a 2.4 mod on P99, with uh, the McVaxius song, I was getting 24 damage on the damage shield, which is pretty freaking crazy if you ask me. Yeah, so I was getting 24 damage on the damage shield, and the beautiful thing about it is it stacks with your secondary damage shields being these four songs right here, Purity, Cooling, Vitality, Warmth. These are your targeted resist songs, but they also have like an, I noticed they brought about eight points of damage to the, 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 to the party singing skill. I think they could go higher with the epic, but that's just without the epic, it's eight points. So I think this is for fire, it's for cold, disease, or poison or whatever. Anyways, um, so you can use whatever resist song is special for whatever environment you're fighting in. But often I like to use Psalm of Cooling because of this. It has ultra vision. It helps you see better. And I'll show an example of that. Watch my screen. It'll get a little bit brighter. Yeah. The ultra vision is the dark elf vision, so it helps out. Um... So that's two damage shields right there, and that boosts your offensive capabilities dramatically. <laughs> you you do so much more damage with the damage shield, especially when you have if you're in the main tank group in a raid, whew, that helps out a lot. But um, honestly, if you weren't in the main tank group, if you're in a DPS group, I would probably rather run versus a victory. To be honest, I think that's a, a better one. And then next, the two you're gonna want to run is Cantana. So either, I don't have it yet, but that'll be at level 55. That's the HP and mana, and that stacks with Niv's Melody of Preservation, which is another HP song right here that stacks. And they're both stringed instruments, so it boosts health regen dramatically. Um, you can use, if you wanted some magic resist, you could throw them in Psalm of Mystic Shielding. It's an extra, it, it has some HP regen, but the problem is since it's singing skill and it's not stringed, it doesn't go as high of HP regen. So that's the shortcoming of it. So that's honestly the melee twist. So. Now the next one will be the caster twist. This one will be different. So it's going to be different on P99 as opposed to live, to be honest, because of this one song, like I mentioned. On live, it's a static song that doesn't, that lasts the full duration. It lasts for 12 seconds. Whereas on P99, it's a pulse that only, it instantly goes off as soon as you play it. So ideally, your song twist on P99 would be Cantana and then three pulses of Cassandra's Chorus of Clarity if you are in a caster group. But on live, your ideal pulse is going to be this. It'll be Cantana, Nivs, Chorus of Clarity, 
and then whatever else you want to throw on there. Um, I would probably throw on a resist song. Like, you can't use Psalm of Mystic Shielding with Nivs. But I, I, you could throw on Guardian Rhythms, or you could throw on Cassandra's Elegy. Put level 44, let's take a look at that. Yeah, it boosts Intelligence and it boosts Wisdom. You could throw that one on. That's honestly what I would use if I was in a caster group. Um, and that's just for boosting peak, peak mana regen. And now the last thing I will mention in regards to being in the caster group, I find I'm often less busy in the caster group, so I have a little bit more flexibility with not always having up mana regen. So often what I'll do is I'll do Dispel. So I'll use Sylvian's Anti-Magic Area, which is a uh, Aria, which is a Dispel. So I'll Dispel the mobs that we're attacking. And the next step, I'll throw Occlusion. I'm not sure if it's unresistible on live, but it is on P99. So you have your percussion instrument out, and you have to have it equipped on P99. It won't play without it. And it's an unresistible decrease of resist. You get this in Velius. 55. And then the last song I play is Foofles. Which is a resistible dot, but it has a magic resist built in on it. And what... Oh my, how high does it go? So far at level 50, I'm getting minus 33 magic resist with a... 2.4 mod percussion instrument so I'll play that often but already that's it that's it for the video hopefully that helps people figure out what twists to play what ideal song configurations you want to run there's some other niche circumstances but hopefully that is a good starter for anybody who wanted to know thank you guys all for watching see you in the next video